Converting Atoms to Moles, Part 1, by Mr. Thiel. Okay, in this problem, we are asked how many moles of lead are in 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead. All right, so like every one of these problems, I think it is helpful to write out what we are given. We are given 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead. So again, if we refer to this diagram that is provided by our textbook, uh, we see that we have a place for the number of atoms of an element. So we're given the number of atoms of our element. And we are asked to find the number of moles of lead. So again, in our diagram, we have a place for moles, the amount of our element in moles. So we have to get from our given number of atoms of our particular element, lead in this case, and we have to find how many moles of lead that this number is equal to. Okay, so we take our given, which is number of atoms of lead, and we write it out in fractional form. We have 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead over 1. So now, uh, what we need to do is we need to somehow convert that into moles of lead. So, if we look at our diagram up here, it gives us a pathway to follow. To do this, we can take our number of atoms of our element and we multiply it times one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or uh, Avogadro's number of atoms. So remember one mole is equal to Avogadro's number of a particular uh, uh, number of particles of whatever it is that we are looking at. In the case of elements, when we're talking about moles of elements, we're talking about uh, numbers of atoms, which is uh, the type of problem we are looking at here. So we have um, uh, Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So if we multiply the given number of atoms that we have times one mole over uh, Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, this will allow us to cancel out our atoms of lead and uh, will result in moles of lead. So this is taking Avogadro's number and in, in how it is equivalent to moles and using it as a conversion factor to get us the desired units. So if we run the math, we'll see that atoms of lead cancel out and we're left with simply moles of lead. So we take 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead times one mole of lead over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of lead, and that will give us the number of moles of lead in this problem. So we get this big number, 2.4908682 times 10 to the negative 12, and that has too many significant figures, so we have to take a look at uh, the numbers we're given to start the problem. We have 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead. That is two significant figures. And Avogadro's number we have uh, rounded here to four significant figures. So we have to go with the smaller number, which is two. So we have two significant figures. We round our number to two, two significant figures, and that gives us 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12 moles of lead. So 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12 moles of lead. And our number is logical because 10 to the 12th is significantly smaller than 10 to the 23rd, which is how many atoms we would see in uh, one mole. So uh, we must have uh, much, uh, a much smaller amount than one mole of lead because we have far fewer atoms as you would expect to find in one mole of lead. So our answer is logical in that sense. So again, we have 1.5 times 10 to the 12 atoms of lead and we have converted that to moles and we got 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12 moles of lead. And we are through with this particular problem.